All right, y'all. Hey, <laughs> I have a headset on that I have in between my hair because I'm working. Um, however, I did want to film this video for you guys because, look, I feel like I haven't seen many, if any, videos just showing y'all how to braid locks or how to braid in general. Um, I just looked it up too and I saw like one video that was an actual tutorial. Um, but I feel like I feel like a lot of y'all might want to braid your locks or do more styles with it, but you may not just not know how to braid locks in general. So let's get into that. I'm about to show y'all how to braid your locks. Um, I have, I'm needing a retwist badly. I'm getting it interlocked sometime in June. It is May 17th, so I'm in no rush to do so. Um, I had retwisted it, but then I got it wet, so... It is what it is. Um, if I do get a call, since I am working, I do have to hang up. Don't mind a little bit of mess in the background. Still moving in. Okay, move it like that, yeah. Okay, so there's, there's many tactics or ways of braiding. I'm gonna show you the best way I um, know how and the best way that I would recommend that you do it. So for example, if you're doing a braid out, one thing you don't wanna do is grab three locks like this. That's one thing I definitely would not recommend. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's up to you what you wanna do, but I wouldn't recommend grabbing three straight locks like this. Um, instead of doing that, I would recommend going like somewhat in a triangle or just in a different shape. So your better option would be to grab like this. This way it looks more uniform and you can actually wear the hair as a style, but it's also easier to grab when you're not going in straight, a straight line like that. So like I said, you wanna grab kind of like in a triangle rather than going in a line. You see what I'm saying? So go in a triangle. You can kind of see the triangle, it's right there. All right, I'm gonna go real slow so that y'all can see it very well um, because I know that braiding is one of those things that you kind of wanna know how to do but everybody just doesn't know how to do. All right, so you have your three pieces, right? Just like this, three pieces. Now, if you're doing like a six strand braid, that's another thing, but you're starting with three. All right, so you're gonna grab one here, one here, one here. All right, you see how I have one between my index finger and thumb, one between my index finger and thumb, and then one in my other three fingers. Everybody braids differently, but this is just how I braid. So you're gonna take this one, the one in the middle, and you're gonna put it over, all right? And then you take the one on the right and you put it under. You see what I'm saying? So under and then Okay, wait, that doesn't make sense. Once you get the first, let's start over. I want it to make sense, okay? All right. So you have one between your index finger and thumb, one between your index finger and thumb, and then the rest, the one, last one between the last fingers. So what you're gonna do is you're taking this middle one. This is just to start the braid. You're taking the middle one and you're gonna go over the one on the left, okay? Then you're gonna take your one on the right and you're gonna go under the middle one, all right? Then you're gonna take your one on the left and go under the middle one. You're gonna take your one on the right and go under the middle one. The one on the left, under the middle one. The one on the right, under the middle one. One on the left, under the middle one. One on the right, under the middle one. And from there, you can kind of just keep going you see what I'm saying? You just keep going under the middle one. It'll continuously move. Whatever one is in the middle will continuously move. But you, no matter what, are going under the middle one, under the middle one. You see what I'm saying? So this one is now in the middle. So I'm going under the middle. This one is now here. And this one's now in the middle. So I'm going under the middle. All right, under the middle under the middle, under the middle, under the middle. And now as we go on, you can see that the pattern is starting to develop. And eventually, once you get good at it, obviously you can go faster. In the beginning, you're gonna go a little bit slower because you're trying to figure it out. Another tip I have for you guys is make sure that when you're braiding it, you're putting enough pressure on it because you don't want the braid to be moving like crazy. That's how you end up with braids that kind of look like a barrel. Let me show you how that would look. If the braid is moving with you, you can't braid right, it's loose, and it becomes kind of more of a barrel braid. You see how the, the, the pattern changes? It gets looser down here, but then it also has a slight curve in it. So you don't wanna be braiding like that. 
And even if you stop in the middle of a braid and you have to stop and do something and come back, you have the same rules. Under the middle one, 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 under the middle one. And you just keep going like that, all right? So let's do another one. All right, let's start with this one. All right, so remember what I said, you don't wanna go in a line like this. That's one thing you do not wanna do. It causes strain on the scalp because your hair is pulling different ways and it's not pulling in more of a circular way. And then it also is harder to braid that way. So like I said, you're gonna pull a triangle so you can do these three. You see what I'm saying? So now you have three like this. All right, like I said, you're gonna have one between the index and thumb, between the index and thumb, and then the rest and the rest of your fist. Now, just to start it, you go over. Once you get that part, then you start going under the middle. So, let me, hold on. Let me put this hair out the way for y'all. Okay. So, like I said, just like I said before, now you want to take your middle one to begin the lot to begin the braid. Take your middle one and bring it over the one on the right. All right, now take this one and you can go under the middle. Now you can start going under, under the middle, under the middle. You see what I'm saying? This one is now here. This one's now in the middle. It changes every time, but no matter how it changes, you're always going to pull it under the one that's in the middle. So under the middle. You pull this under the middle, under the middle. You pull this under the middle, under the middle. Pull it under the middle, pull it under the middle. You see what I'm saying? So now this is your middle. You're just gonna pull this under it. That's it, that's how you braid it. It's that simple. And then once you get good, obviously you can go faster, but in the beginning, that's all you do. Now, if y'all wanna do bigger braids, for example, you decide that you wanna do braids with like six, because sometimes doing this across your head, your whole head, it's just too much. So if y'all decide y'all want a tutorial on that, just let me know. I got you. I'll do it, okay? But yeah, that is how you braid your hair. And you want to make sure that if you're braiding for the sake of uh, having like a braid out done and you want your hair to be curly, you want your hair to be at least a little bit damp. Um, and if you don't want to do it damp while you braid it, then you can always just go back at the end and make sure that you just spray something on it to make it wet. Or you can even just run water on your hands and run it over the locks. But your curls won't take if it's, the hair is just completely dry or it'll take a hell of a lot longer. So let me take this out. Should I have been showing you how to take the braids out? I think, I think we pretty much know how to take the braids out, right? Let me know if y'all want another video on how to take the braids out. I guarantee you I will do that video for y'all. There's no question that is done, okay? So, that is how you braid your locks. I do hope that this was helpful. Um, I taught AJ how to braid and he said it was helpful, but... You just, you just never know. So let me know what y'all think of that. Let me know if y'all have any other questions or any other tutorials y'all would like. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.